Vienna in general is a wonderful city. You can't help loving it. The story didn't begin with culture or arts, it began with volunteering and activists movement. The group was founded when the events at Euromaidan started taking place. Ukrainians who lived in Vienna united to support their fellow citizens. At the beginning there were only patriotic events. That's what we were actually doing in 2014. We organized about 100 events of such sort. Then we happened to see the program Days of Polish Culture and decided to focus on that field. Each artist regarding their works is in a way a fine diplomat. I mean, when people see my works of art, they get positive emotions, which is omnipresent in my paintings. Ukrainians who live in Vienna enjoy visiting our events, as it's surely interesting and moreover their sense of dignity and pride in their country increases immensely. We love it when people of other nationalities attend our events. We are neighbors. We are living together. We have history between this country, Austria, and between Ukraine. It is a way to uh, a very friendly way to uh, to show the culture of a country. Not only in a concert room or not only in a museum, on the street. What I love is children are participating, I am participating, I love this drawing, I would love to know more how to do this because it's really very decorative and uh, very Ukrainian. When we came up with an idea to have a run and that it can be held back to back with the beginning of the festival, we started to think of those who will participate. A friend of ours, Igor Lyshinsky, suggested two fellas, Ivan and Alexander. I knew Andriy as well as Ivan Grishko, and in this way we gathered a team. If we have more Ukrainians who like running and lead a healthy lifestyle, we might have a chance for a better tomorrow, as it's crucial for a nation to have healthy people and healthy leaders. Our guys are tough, so we won't give up. I 
this is the first time when Ukrainians win here. We saw the finish line. We were the first to cross it. By all means, what we are doing here is the right thing. You can see a lot of Ukrainians here. They're coming up to us, greeting us, and in my opinion, it's just great. I was so nervous this morning, more than when I was running a marathon at the World Championship. First of all, we had a strong team spirit, because if you're a part of a team, you get more responsible. The happy memories of the historical events we organize with the help of philanthropists, who also support us, will surely leave a mark. Ukraine has been independent for 25 years. Unfortunately, the country's image still remains negative, as for many years nothing was done to improve it in any way. Therefore, the challenge to finally improve it now has never been more relevant for us. It is of great importance now, both for the country and for the nation. I've been an active visitor of Eastern Fest for two years now. I can say that this festival is very important. Its special feature is that it tries to show Ukraine's best here in the heart of Europe, in Vienna. For instance, at the last festival, it was the performance Hamlet Babylon, which is a very significant event for the Ukrainian theater. That was great collaboration between Swiss and Ukrainian actors. This year we have a new musical project, it's called Two Violins, and it already represents Ukraine in a road in music halls of the US, Europe and Japan. I'm a person of a new generation, so to say. People like us start learning the basics of music at a very early age. My dream is perhaps to be able to go on meeting more and more interesting people in the future. And of course to keep on performing in such gorgeous halls as this one. This is a gorgeous hall. To tell you the truth, at the moment I'm having a hard time remembering a better place than this. This is a truly beautiful hall, and we are grateful to have been invited. Ukraine had been isolated for a very long time in general. It had been isolated from any international culture movements. I believe that the world is getting more and more interested in Ukrainian music and in Ukrainian jazz music in particular. Many business people support important Ukrainian culture events, and in return they get the feeling of happiness and self-esteem. And meeting with artists have become very important too. We, as their organizers, are happy to create something beautiful and help amazing people meet each other. And in this way we help create the positive image of our country.
You see, I've never lived in Austria, but I'm visiting quite often. And what I would say that Ukraine is a subject of a great interest, especially after the events of 2013 and afterwards all the bloody and difficult events in Ukraine. Uh, due to that, uh, we were unlucky, but lucky at the same time to uh, get a huge promotion, especially for uh, Ukrainian cultural products. People are waiting for it, very interested in getting something of that and in discovering Ukraine. It's already since 25 years we are. This is something we call uh, cultural diplomacy and it really works. It's a win-win situation for everyone who visits our festival. The spectators get a lot of positive emotions and enjoy the quality of our shows. There are very few Ukrainian projects and festivals abroad which could offer our artists such terms. We were glad to invite and bring the artists to one of the most beautiful European capitals and show them to the sophisticated audience. Therefore, our artists are really happy to participate. This will be our 12th performance of Aya, the most responsible one. Our following important step will be to give five shows in New York. But first, we are going to give shows in Central Europe, in Vienna, and so far, that's our priority. The audience of Vienna is very demanding, as even some of the things we show are just way too simple for them. Cultural diplomacy during the war is very important. Everyone keeps saying that, although very few people, such as Ustream organizers, actually do anything. Importantly, they can unite to identify themselves as a society, to have the sense of community and move on further as one. Ukraine is usually identified with Chernobyl, Vitaly Klitschko and Andrei Shevchenko. And we often have to prove that many other important facts are connected with Ukraine. For example, that Kazimir Malevich wrote letters in Ukraine, or Svetlana Alexeyevich was born in Ukraine. There is no cultural image of Ukraine in the world, and this has to be worked on. Ustream Fast participants are the ones who work on it very hard. And there are other activists who also work on that in Paris, New York, most often without any support from the government. So they get better image of Ukraine, they uh, see Ukraine not only as a source of the problems, but also the source of uh, fantastic cultural product. So of course events like Ustream uh, are super important and super needed for us. I guess by now all around the world it's rather volunteering than some governmental strategy, but hopefully uh, we're going to have such a strategy also. It's obvious that what we do is a state affair. Our future plans are ambitious. If we work hard, these plans will be fulfilled. The project has every chance to become international. This can be a festival of Ukraine's progressive art, which can take place either in Europe or in any other country of the world. Such events can proudly demonstrate the best of Ukraine.